Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the on-stream application to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step is you have to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have Downloader yet or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we have to go to search and a fire stick, go to search bar and start entering downloader in here. And as you can see now, the downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it and here is that orange application, which you need to get. But after you got downloader, it's not over yet because you still need to set it up. So now in order to actually set up the loader, we need to go to settings by clicking that little button with a gear icon, scroll down and open my far TV. So click on it. And from here, you have to turn on the developer options, but on some fire sticks and especially on the new fire stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to about, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. And from here, all you have to do is locate the loader and just turn that option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we'll go back to a list of apps near your device. Here it is, let's open it. And there is a downloader, which we just got. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All we have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Canada right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in a description of this video, you will get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with a game for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just go back to a list of apps near your device, let's start it up together, and head to Downloader straight away. And here, in a search bar, just enter a link which will be on stream.so. So once again, it's on stream.so. That's the link you have to enter. Then click go 
And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you will get even more content about Firesticks. Then this web page will open, and you have to just click on Download on Stream in here, and then press on Stream for Android TV. That's what we gotta do. And now the load of the on stream application has started. Usually it takes only a couple of seconds. Then click install and wait a bit until the installation process is finished. After that, do not click open yet. Instead, it's better to press done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on the Fire Stick. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way, you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And now let's go back to a list of apps on your device. Here it is, we open it. And now there at the bottom, you will find the on-stream application. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the Home button on your remote. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use a link below this video to get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. And then enjoy the on-stream application on the Fire Stick. See you next time. Bye-bye.